Hey, what do you want to do for date night? Excuse me, can you give me a minute? Why? Babe, I'm, I'm pooping. So? Babe, I don't want to poop in front of you. Can we just talk when I'm done? Oh, that'll be like 30 minutes. You always take forever. I don't take that long. Yes, you do. Either way, this is my private time. <laughs> You've watched me give birth three times. You are no longer entitled to private time. Well, I don't want to talk to you while I poop. Why? You text me all the time while you're pooping. Well, that's different. You can't see me or smell me. Oh, look at that zit on my chin. Gosh. Well, don't point it out. Well, I'm just letting you know that I know it's there. Can I please just poop alone? Fine. What was that? Nothing, DJ. Heidi just came in. Hey. Psst. What? What are you doing? I'm sleeping. You said we were gonna hang out. I put my gray sweatpants on. Oh, I'm too tired. We need to hang out earlier. Yeah, I know. I've been waiting for you for two hours. Yeah, but I had to put the kids down. Yes, but you also put yourself down. Can we just hang out tomorrow night? Uh, that's what you said yesterday. If we don't hang out tonight, I might literally die. Okay, fine. But I'm gonna need a 45 minute back massage to get in the mood. And the baby's probably gonna wake up. 35. 20. Deal. I'll shower. <laughs> Jeez, babe, we're only going for two days. You're overpacking. Yeah, but I need to make sure I pack everything for the kids. Um, that looks like your stuff. You don't understand. Women have to have options. Okay, but do we really need the diffuser, the sound machine, and the humidifier? The Airbnb will probably have it. What if they don't? Then we won't. Well, what are you packing? This. That's what you're taking? Yep. Babe, you constantly underpack. Saves on baggage fees. How many pairs of underwear did you pack? One, but I'm also wearing a pair, so two. I'm packing you more underwear. I don't like your underwear, they're too tight. What was that for? You know what you did. Is it because I put your new pan in the dishwasher? You did what? Nothing, I just woke up. No, you moved to France with all your theater friends and that stupid theater bimbo. What? No, I didn't. But you want to. No, I don't, but I'm starting to. <sighs> I had this dream that we were at this going away party for you and all of our family and friends were there and they were congratulating you on this next endeavor and I'm running around bawling because you're just leaving me and the kids. Meanwhile, everyone else is like, congratulations, Taylor, have so much fun in the theater. But it didn't actually happen. <sighs> I know. I just need time to process. Jerk. Hey, babe. Yeah? What's this? Oh, my Norwex order came. I know, but you already have a ton of these rags. Why are you getting more? Well, they're not rags, they're cloths, and they pick up proteins. How do you even know these magic rags work? Because I use these rapid protein residue tests to check. Wait, you bought what? It's a test to make sure things are clean. And what's that? It detoxifies your body. <sighs> it detoxes our bank account. You spend too much money on stuff that we don't need. Oh, you want to talk about spending money on things we don't need? What about this? You mean Pamela? Yeah, your $8,000 VAT tire bike. Okay, first off, that is a custom frame from Black Sheep. Secondly, I didn't spend $8,000 on it. I installed an $8,000 sprinkler system for it. Well, why can't I have a nice bike? Um, Because you wouldn't use it. If we're gonna buy something, let's at least buy something you would use, like, a new vacuum. In the arms of